suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Long suffering. I'm trying to get you to understand the personality of God. Before I go into why you are in a situation you are in. Psalms 86. Psalms 86 and 15. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. Long-suffering again. So I'm trying to get you to understand. Patient, jealous, patient. This is Lamentations 3 and 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Compassionate. All right, so we understand compassionate, long-suffering and jealous. Compassionate, long-suffering and jealous. All right. Now, let me read what his plan was for you. I'm talking to you victims of Black Lives Matter. I want to show you what his plan was for you. This is Genesis 12 and 2. And I will make, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. This is his plan. This was his plan. Still is his, well, let's read. Let's read, let's, let's, let's go on this journey. This is Psalm 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's you, I'm talking to you. So, the Lord is trying to make a covenant with you. He's long suffering, he's patient, wants to make you a great nation, but he is jealous. So I'm going to read a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to give you a backstory of before I read this. So Moses So Moses um, was a great man and God loved Moses. And God led Moses out of captivity the Egyptians captivity under Pharaoh. Led him led him out of that captivity through great miracles and led him into the wilderness where Israel would seek new pastures so but it wasn't easy so let's hear what the people said when they were being led out of captivity let's hear what the people were saying This is Numbers 11, Numbers 11, 1 to 15. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses, and when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched.
Numbers 11, 1 to 15. Yeah, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place Taberah, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. Ah, so here we go. So the people lust for meat. This is, listen to this. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting. And the children, of, the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlics. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all beside the manna before our eyes. And the manna, and the manna was as coriander seed and the color thereof as the color of people went about and gathered it and ground it into mills or beat it into mortar and baked it in pans and made cakes of it and the taste of it was the taste of fresh oil and when the dew fell upon the camp in the in the night the mala, the manna fell upon it then Moses heard the people weep throughout their families every man in their door of every man in the door of his tent and the anger of the Lord was kindled greatly. Moses also was displeased. And Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And wherefore have I found and wherefore have I not found favour in thy sight, that thou layest the burden of all these people upon me? Have I conceived all these people? Have I begotten them, that thou shouldest say unto me, Carry them in the bosom as a nursing father, beareth the sucking child? unto the land which thou swearest unto their fathers? When should I have flesh to give unto all these people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. I am not able to bear all this people alone, because it is too heavy for me. So Moses is crying to the Lord. Um, you know, the people are complaining to him. So this is Numbers. 31 and 35 I'm about to read and there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea and let them fall, fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side and as, is, and as it were a day's journey on the other side round about the camp and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth and the people stood up all that day and all that night and all the next day and they gathered the quails he that gathered least gathered ten homers and they spread them all abroad for themselves round about the camp and while the flesh was yet between their teeth ere it was chewed the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague, and he called the name of that place Kiboth the people that lusted. So <laughs> this is God who is long suffering and he's just put many people to death whilst whilst they were still eating because because of the ungratefulness uh, I guess that's that's the best way to put it um, but let's let's read further this is Ezra verse 10 1 to 5 Ezra 4 right? This is Ezra first 10, 1 to 5. Now when Ezra had prayed and when he had confessed weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shechaniah the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered and said unto Ezra, We have trespassed against our God 
and have taken strange wives of the people of the land. Yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Now therefore, let us make a covenant with our God to put away all the wives and such and, and such as are born of them according to the counsel of my Lord and of those that tremble at the commandment of our God and let it be done according to the law. Uh, this is regarding you know, um, Israel attempting to reform marriage. Solely based on the fact that when when they were with these other wives, that was causing them to go up because they were basically praying to the gods of those of, of, of their mistresses of their wives. So uh, let's read some more. This is regarding King Solomon. This is First Kings eleven. But King Solomon loved many strange women. Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites, of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go in, to, in unto them, neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. So I clave unto these and love, and he said, and he had said, and he had seven hundred wives, princesses, and three hundred concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For it came 